We have two teams that started the year and are currently trending in very polar opposite directions as the Mariners, with Logan Gilbert on the mound, complete a four-game sweep of the Toronto Blue Jays. The Blue Jays have now lost four straight and they're 1-9 and nine in their last 10 games. They're also only two games above the Baltimore Orioles for last place in the American League East. And for the Mariners, they win their eighth straight game. They're also 9-1 and one in their last 10 and they are creeping right in into that wildcard picture. Right now, them and the Blue Jays have identical records. So from here on out, whoever plays better will have the advantage to making the playoffs. And could it finally be time for the Mariners to break the longest sports, North American sports playoff drought as it finally looks like they're going right? At the start of the year, they had all this talent on their team. Robbie Ray, Adam Frazier, Jesse Winker, everyone they got over the offseason. And it just looked like they weren't going to put it together as they were just bad again. But now in their last night, 19 games they're 16 and 3 they've been looking so good so hopefully for Mariners fans they can keep this up and finally break that everlasting playoff drought and get back to the playoffs let me know what you guys think about them but then on the other end the Blue Jays they looked so good to start the year everything was going right they had some beasts in their pitching rotation but everything has fell off their pitching isn't as good Kevin Gosman he's banged up right now Jose Barrios hasn't been too good Manoa's lost his last couple starts so let me know what you guys think. Obviously, both these teams have the talent to make the playoffs, but also we've seen both these teams have the ability to play bad enough to get themselves out of a playoff spot. So they're trending in very opposite directions right now. Blue Jays trending way down. Mariners trending way up. Let me know what you guys think. Will the Mariners finally break their everlasting playoff drought? It's currently the longest active drought by any of the four major sports teams in North America. And what is wrong with the Blue Jays? Can they turn this around with the All-Star break coming up? What is wrong with the Toronto Blue Jays right now?